96 bass or the 196 please. That's Dougie, yeah. could you bring over the wooden Brandoni? The nearest one, this side. The Brandonis. Yeah. I don't think it will be. No, this is it. It's cost them off, isn't it? It all started when my mum was telling me about my dad's problems with his health. He was pretty bad and we, we should try and do something to get him out of the factory because it was killing him. And so we came up with the idea that if I were to have a music shop, then we could get Dad to work in it, and that would take him out of the factories. So anyway, we did that, and Dad said, yes, he'd love to do that. And so I took a shop in Cricklewood Broadway. And so we had that for a few years and then father died which left me with a shop full of accordions not knowing what to do with them and I noticed there was a big to let sign on the corner of where we are now at 358 Kilburn High Road so I thought well if that's cheap enough maybe I can uh, put all those accordions in there and so I took these premises over and that was in 1977 <laughs> It is, in fact, the original Roman road. Watling Street goes from the middle of London up to Scotland. Then it became known as the A5. And it's still the A5, and it is a long straight road. It emerges at Marble Arch, and then comes through Paddington, then Maida Vale, then Kilburn, straight up through Cricklewood, and then in Cricklewood is where the M1 now goes on north. I don't know exactly why it was such a strong Irish community, but it was. It just was, and more people in Ireland have heard of Kilburn, I should think, than any other town, and so they made their way here. There's always been an off-license in the corner shop next door to the shop here, and very often 
we'd get uh, some Irish people would come in here on Sunday, you used to open on Sundays in those days, with a crate of beer. They've arranged to meet five or six of their mates, and each one of them has arranged to meet five or six of their mates, and I'd have, this place would be full of Irishmen having a hoolie and out on the pavement as well. What, singing or playing? Singing and playing accordions, yeah. The atmosphere was fantastic. general it's a very friendly area. I, I would say a rough and ready friendly place. It's not, an, it's not a rough and ready where you walk down the road and feel threatened. My dog likes it because <laughs> there's quite a few dogs around here but they're well behaved. If you've come here for a sleep go somewhere else. If you've come here to see life and to be able to participate, join in what's going on, come here, it's great.
I just put their money in the bucket now. <laughs>